Responsive IDX Plugin Settings Overview. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we will be going over how to use HGI's Responsive IDX Plugin, also known as RIDX for short. The Responsive IDX Plugin by HGI is a powerful tool for easily accessing important market data in your approved website. This feature is available for those who use HGI themes or just HGI plugins. Either way, once the plugin has been installed, the Responsive IDX tab will appear in your administrative dashboard. So let's begin. After having logged into your admin account, click on the Responsive IDX tab located in your taskbar on your left. This will open up its settings where you will be able to find tabs at the top you can work with general, property ads, offices slash agents, colors, contact info, spatial match, and user registration, from which we will begin working with general. The first thing you'll see in the general tab is the listing slug. This is simply where you create the URL extension that navigates a user to the listings page in your website. So, for example, if a user types in your website into their search engine and adds the URL extension you've just created, they will be navigated directly to the listings page. Now, under that, you have the search results page dropdown, which contains a list of pages you've already created. Whichever page you choose from this list is where the URL extension will navigate the user to. This section is automatically set up to take a user to the search results page where the listings are located. But you can also create your own page, then select it here. So, just to clarify, the listing slug is the name of the extension and the search results page is where you assign a page to that slug. The search results layout dictates how the listings will be set up in a page. You can adjust how many listing previews are in a row, which just as a quick note are horizontal, and how many rows there are in a grid. We typically recommend setting up a 3x3 three three grid with only 9 results per page because it is the most optimized layout for uploads. The leads email address is the email that will be receiving all notification of users signing up. The sticky search widget allows the search bar, which is located at the top of the page, to scroll with a client as they move down the page so that it is always visible. If you want the search bar to disappear when a client scrolls down, then simply leave the box unchecked. This feature doesn't really come into play if there is no scrolling needed for a page. Now, the Custom Forms section will have the Gravity Form as its default built-in form. Because our responsive IDX works hand-in-hand -hand with the Gravity Form plugin, it is necessary for all of our users. Finally, the Call to Action Buttons section allows you to easily edit the text of some buttons in the page. You can change the Form 1 slash Listing Inquiry, the Form 2 button slash Schedule a Showing, the Listings Details button, the RIDX search button, and the Inside Ads Call to Action link. Don't forget to save any changes you've made before moving on to the next tab. As a quick note, the Save Changes button is typically located at the bottom left of the page. Alright, now let's go over the Property Ads tab. Here you will have all of the listings assigned to the Realtor, Broker, or Office in a particular market. With this tab, you can filter the listings by picking a specific agent's name and or a specific market. You can also import a listing to use in another page, such as a sold portfolio page. However, to have your listings appear in this tab, you must first go to the Offices slash Agents tab 
and make sure your agent name or office name has been added and saved in the corresponding sections. To add your name to either of these sections, simply click on the Add button located at the bottom of the corresponding box. Then, enter your office or agent name into the search box. Pick the correct name from the drop-down and finally click Insert. Once you see your name appear in the corresponding box, click on Save Changes. Next, let's go over the Colors tab. This section allows you to manipulate and sometimes override the default colors which are typically pulled from the HJI theme settings or, if you are a third-party user, the presets of the responsive IDX itself. Now, the Contact Info tab is pretty straightforward. Here, you simply want to fill in all of the corresponding information you want displayed in the Search Results listings page. The information consists of the company name, street address, city slash province, postal code, contact person, email, phone 1, phone 2, and fax. Spatial Match allows you to customize the colors related to a different view of your listings. You can access this page by typing in the URL of your website into your search engine and adding the extension search. Just as a quick note, this extension should always be open and you do not need to create a page named search because it will automatically be set up in this slug. If you change the name on the website, the adaption will not work. Anyhow, in this tab you can change the page's colors and which menu it will display. Finally, let's go over the last tab. With user registration, you can manage when the website will prompt the user to create an account. The first option being the user registration prompt, which, if chosen, will prompt the user to create an account when they click on a listing preview to view the full details of said listing. The Ask Users to Confirm Registration, if chosen, will ask the user to confirm their email when they create an account via a confirmation link that will be sent to their email. If you want to secure your website further, you can require a user to input a number during registration by checking the Require Phone Number box. You can also require to register before they can see any of the listing's full details by checking the Require User Registration box. However, with the Prompt Registration After dropdown, you can choose a specific number of listing details a user can see before they have to create an account to continue viewing more. This number can be anywhere between 0 to 10. Now, the user account template is set at default, which is just a simple template commonly used in any website. And finally, at the very bottom, you have the reCAPTCHA settings, which allows you to set a reCAPTCHA to your form that is useful for added security to your website. I've made a separate video on how to add a reCAPTCHA to your website and I really recommend watching it if you're really interested in using this feature. Again, don't forget to save any changes you've made. Okay, once you've finished customizing all of the responsive IDX's settings, it's time to plug it into its respective page. So, Go to your listings page and click on the Edit Page button located at the very top of your screen. This will open the Page tab in your taskbar and automatically navigate you to where you can make edits to the specific page you were just working on. Here, you want to look for the responsive IDX icon located right above the big text box. Then, after clicking on Edit Search Filters, you can set up the parameters of the form. Here, you can add all kinds of customizations and filters, which we recommend having at least three of because it will speed up the uploading process. 
A very common feature to set up is the open house feature, which you only need to click on the little box to the right of it to do. Once you have finished creating your filters, click save and a short quote will populate within the text box. Then just click update and a permalink will appear on the top left hand corner of your screen under the page's name. Click on that and you will be taken to your newly customized listings page. All right, that's all I have for you today. To learn more about HJI and other HJI products, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.